Hi, thank you so much for joining me on Bollywood Film Fame Canada. I've watched the trailer and something that's really always intrigued me about films based on real life incidents of tragedy, um, sort of rooted in war, is uh, some of the silences and some of the um, sort of lighter moments that you require in films that will necessarily have loud elements. And tell me a little bit about your treatment of the the mood of the film, knowing that moods of these kind of films are always high octane, big on thrills, big on action. How did you ensure you infuse those light moments in there to keep that audience intact? So um, I have a, quite a twisted sense of humor also. Um, okay. When you see the film, uh, there are two, two, actually a couple of moments, two which I stand out a little more than the others. Uh, one is there in the trailer where uh, Commando throws a grenade and right. the terrorist is so busy laughing, he doesn't realize that the grenade has come up right next to him. And then he right. realizes, and then he uh, runs and hides. Right. Okay. Uh, of course, in the film, there's a lot more. So you see it, then you'll know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, those were that, those are impro improvisations I did on set. Uh, you know, uh, because like you said, this film, films like this can be very heavy. Okay, right. because uh, you you I mean it, there are sort of a, there's a sort of a structure for films like this. You have an opening action set piece, okay, and then you get into establishing the characters and establishing what the plot is going to be, and then you have the build up to the plot, and then bang, you know, and then you get into the stories of everybody, uh, and some are sad, some are shocking. Uh, some are very, they're, they're very, some very cold-blooded moments that happen. So in the middle, I mean, even there's another one where it's actually a very, alt, very high tension moment where a guy is going to be killed. Right. You know? And the terrorist uh, says, "Tell those people your name." You know, and in being nervous, a guy turns around and tells the terrorist his name. You know, and the terrorist says, "I know your name. Tell them your name." You know, right. it's it's not a time to be funny. I I mean, nobody will find it funny also, you know, but it was just uh, these moments which just added a sense of reality uh, also gave you an insight to the mind of how terrorized those, those poor people were, you know? Right. Um, and uh, of course, then you, then, I mean, you get into the, the cat and mouse game between the commandos, uh, you have you will have the story of uh, a damaged uh, hero who needs to rise right. above his problems, you know, overcome his issues, and of course the final victory. Uh, right. So I mean these these are I, I'll be straight up these are tropes these are tropes in this genre. Uh, the difference is when you, how differently you can do it. Right. Um, the reviews are coming in of the film, okay? And for your audiences, I'll, I'll, it's very interesting. So there are two schools of thought about a particular uh, element of the film. Hmm. One school of thought loves the fact that it's straight to the point and it moves really fast. That the film is pacey, you don't, you can't get your eye off the screen. You're sitting on the edge of your seat. You don't move till from the first frame to the last frame. Okay? Right. And then there's some people who like that also, but then also say, you know, I wish the characters were more fleshed out and, you know. So, and that's when it gets me thinking that if I fleshed out those characters more, the film wouldn't be that fast and pacey. Right. You know, you'll, you'll have to, uh, I mean, then you'll start getting bored. So somewhere you have to strike a balance and one realization is uh, I, uh, that I have always, actually after every project that happens, you can't make everybody happy. Oh, so <laughs> you, go, you go with, uh, you know, with, with your best foot forward and uh, hope people like it. Hmm. 
I wanted to talk to you about the character development and character stories, because one of the things that films like these can do is in a, within a short period of time, talk about character motivation. Um, you know, as you said, sort of a, a hero that needs to rise up uh, because of something that's happened and face his own demons. Um, and we, we can sort of sense that something's going on, um, especially after you review the trailer. But how, and, and you talked about, you know, you sort of have to compromise a little bit. Otherwise, you're going to be key. You're going to flesh out all of those stories and it's not going to be fast paced anymore. How do you make that decision? How How do you ensure that you still have characters that people can empathize with um, mm. but at the same time deliver the thrills that a film like this requires so um, you know then uh, that's why casting comes in is very important mm. uh, because the audience needs to look at the actor for 20 seconds and just understand everything about the act, about this character you know everything about this character. You know, you know that he or she, this is their story. This is, you know, the audience makes, sometimes they make up their own little, they, they see a visual and they may have their own interpretation of that vision. Of course. So uh, the casting is very important because then you need to be able to, in 10 seconds or 15 seconds of the actor, just walking towards a camera, you, the audience should understand this character. You know, mm -hmm. so I don't need to waste two more scenes or three more scenes telling you about this character because you got the character just in the first shot. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's one, one of the tricks. Mm -hmm. The rest, <laughs> you'll need, that's another book. <laughs> right. You said, uh, you said casting is very important. Let's talk about Akshay Khanna um, as your principal character, because uh, we, we've seen him in a warm, uh, a very, very intense war film below, before. Uh, but again, his character is very well fleshed out in that. And one of the things that is is very admirable about You're talking about Bola? like yes, but yeah. what I'm saying is he's yes. Uh, what I'm saying is. Uh, his character is very much, uh, him as an actor is very much somebody who can underplay really well. Um, he can really, uh, he can do some nuanced humor as well. Uh, you know, he can do a lot of things with just his face. Tell me about um, casting uh, Akshay Khanna and sort of what went, what, well, what went through your mind uh, when, you decided that this was it. He was going to be your principal, a principal character. So um, the character was first written. Okay, a character was written, uh, and then when it's on paper, it's left to a lot of interpretation. Okay, and then you cast. Then, then okay, because obviously the system is such that okay, then you start thinking who could do this role. Then. You talk to different people and then finally things work out and the commercials need to work out and the dates need. There are a hundred things that need to fall right. into place exactly for a film to happen. And then finally, okay, then it's Akshay or whoever. I mean, but right now let's talk about Akshay. Uh, so then what happens is then we start discussing the film, the role, the character. We go through all the scenes. And right from day one, even when I had read the script and uh, even when Akshay read the script on his own, we both were clear about one thing, is this guy, we got to underplay this guy. Okay? Because uh, this film is nationalistic and patriotic without being jingoist. That's important. You know, you know so it, it's got the Bharat Mata ki jai also, but it's not, you know, it's not you know, drummed up and in your face. It's very nicely done. And it, it comes at a point where you feel like saying Bharat Mata ki jai. You know? So, uh, it's not forced down your throat. So, uh, um, we, we were very clear that this is the tone of the film. And this is what the tone of uh, Hanut, Hanut Singh, his character's name, I mean, his character's going to be. In fact, on the set, Akshay was very happy to give his lines away to the other actors. Even moments which, you know, what happens is what, ha what happens very 
often when you're writing a role and you know you've got to approach a hero, you tend to start overwriting for that hero so that the guy gets attracted to the role and he says, yeah, yeah, I'll do this role because I've got so much to do. But it was the opposite. I mean, everything that, I mean, lot, not everything, a lot of the things that we had given him, he was very happy to, you know, let uh, Akshay Oberoi say this line or let, uh, you know, Vivek Daya say this line or we don't need to say this, you know, just let it be silent. Yeah. Yeah, and we had agreed on a lot of things like that. That's fantastic. I think that uh, one of the best things an actor can do is be giving like that because uh, although an actor can be really good in a film, the film may not work if the other actors don't have a lot to do. So uh, that's fantastic to hear. That's, it, it makes me happy to hear that. Uh, Ken, in terms of, you know, reviews have started to come in. Uh, what are your, especially when you're making a film like this, which is based on um, or inspired by, um, as the trailer is, says inspired by true events um it it obviously resonates with a lot of people who had heard about it who'd seen it on news um what are your expectations of how you want the audiences to sort of react to the film or or take away so, from the film yeah so um this one thing is uh well while season one was about the 26 11 attacks that's right Everybody knew about, it, you know, the attack. They knew about Taj. They knew about the Obroy. They knew about Kassab. They knew about Kabul. You know, everything. Because it was all over the place. And it was, it was at a time when the media was, you know, in your face a lot. Uh, social media was just picking up, you know. Um, so everybody knew about 2611. I was very surprised to know that very, very few people knew about Akshatha, the actual attack, you know? And um, so uh, why, you know, we needed to at all times be, um, you know, uh, have respect for the victims, you know, uh, for the temple, you know? Uh, right. And of course, uh, you know, our energy commandos. Um, and in the film, uh, what I would like the audiences to take away from this, that it's a story of the commandos. Hmm. Okay? Um, yes. The, it's, it's seen from the eyes of the commando and what he goes. You know, right. Everything else is peripheral. You know, it's it's the it's a it's an energy commando story. I mean, that's what the brand is. State of siege is all will always be about the commando, the the man in uniform. Mm -hmm. So we try to keep it to that. Fantastic, uh, Ken. The very best of luck. I'm just going to Thank start you. walking out in a couple of hours. Uh, so all the very best. Um, I wish you and your team well. Uh, it looks great. Uh, the trailer looks great and I'm looking forward to a good film. So thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.